Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 7th grade concept of circumference and area of circles. This is standard 7.9b in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 8 of the 2017 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So a circular tablecloth has a radius of 2.5 feet. So let me draw this circle here. Let's make sure we label what that radius is. So here's my circle. The radius is any line that goes from the center of a circle out to its side. So we'll kind of label that right there. That's my radius and that's 2.5 feet. All right, so Kyle is sewing a piece of ribbon around the edge of the tablecloth. So he's going to be sewing something right around here. So if he has exactly enough ribbon, which measurement is closest to the length of the piece of ribbon in feet? So we need to find this measurement right here, but they don't tell us what it is. They don't give us the word, but we can kind of visualize it here. And so it's kind of like the perimeter. But circles don't have perimeters because perimeters need edges and they need lengths and widths and heights. So there is a word that we use uh, that r always reminds me of a perimeter circumference. And how I always remember circumference is I imagine kind of moving that F down a little bit and just making the word fence. A fence goes around the outside of a yard or around a property and circumference goes around the outside of a circle. So now that we're looking for circumference, we can look at our formula chart. We see that circumference is simply the multiplication of pi and your diameter. So pi, uh, remember, is a ratio, um, and the ratio uh, of the circumference over the diameter and so of any uh, circle that we're using, whether it be a big circle like that, whether it be a tiny little circle like this, it doesn't really matter. This pi is usually going to be, uh, the number that we're usually going to use is 3.14, but it's about 3.14. Uh, we use these little squiggly lines, means approximately. Uh, it's actually an irrational number. It goes on forever and ever and ever, ever. So, but usually we use 3.14. That's close. And that's why we say what measurement is closest to, because that's about as close as we can get and use it. So we need to find pi. We've got that, 3.14. We need to find the diameter. If we find the diameter, then the circumference is going to be really easy. We just multiply the two. But they don't give us the diameter. They give us the radius. But the diameter is this. It's the line that goes from one side to the other through the center. So this right here is my diameter. I always think of the prefix di, which means two. It cuts my um, circle exactly in half. Well, think about it. If this right here, this is actually radius. And this right here is actually a radius as well. So the diameter is simply double the radius. And so the radius is 2.5, so let's just double that, and that's 5. All right, so my diameter equals 5 feet. That's pretty easy. Now we simply plug that into this equation up here, and we're good to go. So my circumference is going to equal 3.14. Remember, that's the approximation we're going to use. We're going to multiply that by 5. So let's just see what that gets us here times 5, 20, that's 5, that's 7, that's 15. Remember, I've got two digits behind the decimal in my factor, so I need two digits behind the decimal in my product. So 15.70, or we can just drop that zero in the hundredths, 15.7 feet. And so that is going to be our answer of G.